Ooh, what an awesome mess! You want to know how we built it? You can do it at home with a simple hobby motor. Now, where did Excite Dog go? Ooh, over here! Oh, there's my helper. Now, let me show you the parts. This circular wheel is the mill. This is the switch. This guy's our battery holder. And we've already told you this silver cylinder is the motor. Believe it or not, it's all about passing electricity over magnets. Whoa, 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 whoa. What magnets? They're inside the motor, Excite Dog. That's what's gonna make the motor spin. Of course, to make that happen, we're gonna need some wires because we've got to complete the circuit. Oh, I love these things. We've got wires with clamps. They always kind of look like little alligators to me. What? Alligators? Not real alligators, Excite Dog. They're just wires. And the reason why wires are important is with every circuit, you got to start at the beginning, connect the pieces, and bring it all the way back to the beginning again. So watch. I take the green wire, and I'm going to attach it to the motor. The wire color doesn't matter, I just like green. Then we take the other end of the green wire and we attach it to the next part in our circuit. And that's the switch. Oh, you're going to use that to turn it on and off, aren't you? You're exactly right, Excite Dog. A switch is just a handy way of blocking and reconnecting a circuit. Now let's get the yellow wire. And first we're going to connect the yellow wire to the other part of our switch. That way we'll have electricity coming into the switch and out of the switch. And then we're going to attach the other end of the yellow wire to the battery holder. Oh, there's loose wires on the battery holder. That's right, Excite Dog. So we want to put our clamp right on the copper part of the wire, the part that's exposed. You got it! We did. And now you can kind of see how we're making a loop or a circle here. Our last step is to use this orange wire here to connect our battery holder all the way back to the hobby motor. That's where this whole thing started from. So I get that clamp on the other wire and then connect the motor. And then when we do that, if we've done everything right, you should see the motor start to spin right there. Oh, but, but, but it is not spinning. That's right, something's wrong. Maybe we didn't turn the switch on. No, it is still not working. It is not spinning. You know what we're missing, Excite Dog? You know what we need? What? Whoa, what are we missing? What needs to go in the battery holder? Oh, 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 we need batteries. That's right, we can't have a circuit without power. So I'm just gonna pop a couple of these AA batteries into our battery holder. And then we'll just need to fix our clamps and wires to make sure that we've got that full circuit. And now when we finally turn on our switch, something should happen. Okay, so our motor is spinning, but it's so small that it's almost hard to see. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put the mill on it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That way we can see something spin and we'll get a little more action here. Hey, that's pretty powerful. I wasn't expecting anything quite that strong. Yes, it, it, it is turning very, very fast. Hey, Excite Dog, let me show you a little something. Remember when I told you about how important the circuit is? Watch what happens if the circuit gets broken. So we've turned on the switch so the motor's spinning, and then I'm going to remove one of the clamps. Oh, it stopped. That's right. But if I even just touch it a tiny bit, it starts up again. Oh, it's going. That's right. Whenever there's a full circuit, that motor is going to spin. But if you disconnect it, it all stops. So now comes the fun part where we get to test out our motor on this box of beans. But, 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 isn't that going to make a mess? Yep. I sure think it will, Excite Dog. Let's turn on our circuit. And everybody hold on to your hats because here we go. Oh, the motor is knocking the beans out of the bin. You got it, Excite Dog. We're going to make ourselves a little mess here. What? There's going to be a very big mess. Yep, that's what a spinning motor can do. Oh, boy. That, that, that's going to be a lot of cleanup, you know. 
Well, we'll worry about that later. Let's get to some more spinning. Okay. I kind of like when the beans go flying everywhere. Me too. Just remember, this is what electricity can do. But you have to have a circuit. Which is kind of like a circle that goes all the way around. Well, that was kind of fun. But I guess there's just one little problem now. Yeah, Dave, yeah. How, how, how are we going to clean all of this up? I might have an idea, Excite Dog. What we can do is we can use another device that also uses electricity. What? You, you mean the motor can clean things up too? You mean this guy? Nope, that wasn't what I was thinking of, Excite Dog. I was thinking about a vacuum cleaner. Watch this. It's very cool. Whoa! The beans are all getting sucked up! They sure are, Excite Dog. So that's how you build a circuit for your hobby motor, everyone. You can even try it at home if you like. But now we're going to say goodbye. Bye, everybody! Thanks for watching the Imagination Room. And remember, build, play, create.